This is the Reflection of Perfection, the number one selection, TRP. Damn, I look good. Welcome back to Fight Night as we continue our tribute to the incompetent 2012 United States Olympic men's boxing team. Up next is the team's middleweight, Terrell Gausha. Now, Gausha won the 2012 National Championships in the middleweight division, defeating Jesse Hart in the finals. He won the qualifying tournament to get to London and defeated Andranik Hagopian in the first round. And that's where the good news ends as he was defeated on a heartbreaker by Vijendo Singh in the second round. His pro career has been the same as his amateur days, and tonight's fight will be his debut fight on November 9, 2012. On the same night a lot of his teammates made their debuts, he took on the 2-3 and three Dustin Kaplinger in the super middleweight battle. Will Gaucho get his career off to a good start, or will Kaplinger get the win? Let's find out. Oh, he does not look intimidating. Kaplinger, sure, sure, whatever. So apparently Kaplinger, he took the fight on five days' notice. <laughs> it looks like it, too. Kaplinger, a guy who was uh, looking for his first win in a long time. I think since Gaucher already got exposed to the World Series of Boxing, he knows about the pros. I think it's just a matter of uh, how long he wants to let this fight go. Uh, how hard does he want to work? Well, my guess is not going to let it go too far. He can't. Like, huh. Yeah, the other guy's balding. Doesn't have that much muscle definition. I mean, he took the fight on five days' notice. He had to be in somewhat shape. So, I'm not going not gonna to shit on him too much. It takes a lot of guts to get in there with almost no training. Especially an opponent you didn't even know what was going to happen. Oh, he pushed him down. I don't know, look at the look at the difference between the arms of Kaplinger and Gausha. Gausha, sorry. This is more wrestling match and boxing match. Oh, gosh, I missed a big one, but Kaplinger didn't fall off on it. He comes straight in and tries to tie him up every time. Yeah, every time Gausha throws a punch, Kaplinger tries to hold him. Oh, big right hook. That, 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 oh, that dazed him. Oh, that dropped him. Uh, yeah, that was kind of a rabbit punch. Ready to go? 
Daddy's ready. All right. Kaplers are going to have to throw some punches here, but he's... Oh, oh, Gauche just nailed him with a combination. That was flush. That was flush. Ding, ding, in the round one. Ding, ding, round two. This is not going to go the distance. This is the question of when. When this fight's over. Oh, that dropped him. That dropped him. Three straight right hands, and down he goes. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He's up. All right. He said last one. All right. So he goes down again. This fight's over. Gosh, it. No, he's covering up. And I was just trying to land everything he can here. He's gonna try to fight. Oh, the guy keeps tying him up. Every time he throws a punch, he, he ties him up. But that's all he can do. And now he goes again. That's it. Come on, ref. Call it. Nope. Four. Yep, he saw the look on his face. He's like, nope. He can't even see straight. Oh, the doc threw in the towel. I didn't see it. Okay. So he was counting, and then the doctor threw the towel in. All right. That's it. Yeah, Shea wins it. Yeah, this wasn't a good test for Gauthier, but you know what? You know, five days notice, what is he going to do? You know? and the guy's got balls to get in the ring to begin with, so he did what he had to do. He didn't embarrass him. All right, we don't have to wait around for the decision. All right, so that ends that. All right, it was a good win by Gauche, I guess, but that was the best it got. He did fight for the World Superweight title, Super Welterweight title, but he failed to win it. He hasn't fought in over a year now, and he may not win world title before his career ends. It was unfortunate that he had, and the rest of the team accomplished nothing in London. A lot of it has to do with USA Boxing seemingly doing everything wrong at the wrong <laughs> at the time. You know, like guys were getting fined for, you know, staying late just to spar. And, you know, they weren't allowed to do this. They couldn't pay for that. You know, bare bones operation. You know, the whole works just, you know. So that's why USA Boxing went down the drain in 2012. But that's enough ranting for this time. I'll see you next time.